so we always talk about this. We've covered so many of these news stories and it does hurt a bit, but I think it's important to keep talking about it. These news stories keep coming out of Muslim countries. Even though Muslims say that there is no, uh, you know, that these are vigilante actions and there's no honor killing in Islam, blah, blah, blah. But we always say that the attitude or the way the women have been portrayed in Islam, that leads to this kind of attitude. So a five-year-old girl, Nuria, a five-year-old girl is murdered by her parents and a body dumped in the tr- in the trash in honor killing in Sir- Syria after she was kidnapped and raped by a stranger. She was kidnapped and raped by a stranger. She comes back home and she's murdered by her parents because she brought dishonor. A five-year-old girl, she doesn't know anything. She doesn't know why she was taken away. She doesn't know what happened to her, why the stranger is doing what he did to her. And now she would not have known at the last second when she was murdered by her parents. These are the attitude. A five-year-old Murdered girl and then kid- dumped in a, in, a, in a rubbish bin, Harris. Yeah, yeah like you feel the prominence these Muppets give to honor that you would do that to your own do- Imagine, Imagine instead of the, the sheer like comfort and, and feeling safe and trying to find a way to work through that trauma and understand what's even happened to her. She has no understanding even of what's happened to her. I'm saying she's her. so young that she probably yeah. didn't even have any trauma either because she would not know anything she's that young it's like we're all, all of us muslim no, still, boys like were... somebody's somebody's overpowered your body and they've oh yeah. Very, yeah but they do that to us when they they do that no. to us when they circumcise us yeah but we don't remember we're not traumatized by it <laughs> that, that, that's yeah, what that, i meant that, that, that's very different and you're a lot younger than five yeah, yeah i know that but but i'm saying this girl this poor child i i, I literally was te- I, I teared up in, when i read that because i just imagined being a five-year-old girl and i'm like she doesn't know anything she doesn't know anything. And she's like, she ima- imagine the look on her face. She would, be, she, she'd be like, she's gone through this horrible experience. And she's looking at her parents. And she's like, okay, mom the and dad. People who are meant to like, take care of you no her. matter what unconditional yeah. love. The young girl's parents so allegedly in Islam. Killed, Yeah, sorry. The, the young girl's parents allegedly killed their daughter in cold blood after she was kidnapped and raped by an un- unidentified man in Al-Shahaba area of Syria. The child's body was found in a garbage container in Mam- Mamji, North Syria, on January 27th after being transferred to al Furat Hospital, which lies in eastern Aleppo. So she was kidnapped in November 18th and fa- she was found in January 27th. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights have sought that internal security forces have arrested several members, family members of the girl. The girl's parents have denied killing the daughter and investigated, investigations are ongoing. Um, the five-year-old girl was kidnapped by a stranger who was riding a motorbike after she left her house to meet her father in the local olive orchards. How, how was she? By a stranger. Okay. So um, after stranger after search, motorbike. the girl was found near a road between the Deir Jamil and Kafr Naha villages, according to the human rights organization. Uh, it has not yet been confirmed when the girl was killed. Uh, the SOAR has now called for the authorities to ensure that Charles killers stand trial amid a spat of the so-called honor killing in the country. In July last year, a girl was dragged to an abandoned house and shot by her tribe in a so-called so-called honor killing after she tried to run away with a lover and refused to marry her cousin in syria i think we covered that in the story as well a video circulated online showed the young woman who was identified as an 18 year old aida al hamoudi al saidu being shot in desolate village on the outskirts of northeastern so yeah this this is just uh terrible she was brutally assaulted until the crime was completed i think yeah i think we covered this new story but let's just cover that yeah. now Ida, Ida, who was from the city of al hasaka had been taken to the abandoned house by her father and brother along with other men from al shaharabain tribe according to the news she had been starved and beaten for many days before being executed by her family according to the violations of violations documentation center in northern syria which identified Ida as a victim of the attack. So she refused to marry her cousin, which is a good thing. Yeah, she was brutally assaulted. Un- yeah, it turned out to be worse. Uh, she was brutally assaulted until the crime was completed by a kill- killing her with machine guns and pistols by more than one person. The whole family. Imagine the they hatred. They literally opened fire on this girl. Like, like a firing squad. Like a firing squad. Yeah, AKs. 
The family bragged about publishing a horrific video clip what? showing the murder of a, uh, of a girl by bullets near an abandoned house in the countryside. This is the second girl we're talking about, yeah? Yeah, I Either. know, I know, but I'm just saying, like, it's it's one thing that you open firing squad on her, the second thing to brag about it with a video. Imagine the hatred, like, this is, this girl was about this big. She grew up, like, for a dad. And she was she in She played arms. in her she, palms. Yeah. She was that small, and she grew up in front of you. I get it that you're angry that she's not submitting to your will, but at some point... You got to bow down and you say, okay, honey. Okay, daughter. You, you know, I'm not happy with this. You go for what you want. Okay. Even if you can't take, swallow your pride, you can say, you know what? You're dead to me. I don't want to ever see you again. But to lay a trap at this, and when you, just, this is multiple stabbing. You know when they say that there's multiple stabbing, it just shows the rage and it shows yeah, how yeah. much you hold hatred. All of this over that, that she said, no, I'm not going to marry the cousin that you chose for me. And this is it. Her sin was to love another man whom they couldn't touch, fearing of reprisal between the two families. Oh, so they could—they didn't do anything to him. Just days after the video of Ida's murder emerged on so, uh, social media, a 16-year-old girl was strangled to death by her father <gasps> in another so-called... She was raped. We didn't cover this one. Oh, honor killing was... after she was raped by a relative. So she was raped by a relative, and instead of murdering the relative... She killed, um, they killed the victim. The girl was identified as Aya Muhammad Khalifa by the Violations Document, Documentation Center in Northern Syria. Following the murders, hundreds of women protested against the honor killings in the city of Hazaka by marching down streets. Protesters, even Baku, a member of the Kurdish feminist group, Congress star, said, we condemn these crimes in the name. So in these two cases, obviously the family members killed. This third one, the, the parents are being accused of killing the five-year-old girl. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Um, it says, con like, murdered by her parents. Yes, that all evidence points to points there, but it's not confirmed yet. They've denied and it's being investigated, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. And that's what happens. I, it reminds me of another incident in Turkey where this guy had run away uh, with, with this girl and, you know, they had eloped and the girl had also gone against the wishes of her uh, of her yes. parents. She was lured back into a house, into a dinner by her family members. And when she came, there, when she went there with her husband, the, the whole family pounced on her and stabbed them, to killed them. Um, <laughs> it, 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 the, so she made a mistake of saying, okay, maybe my parents have come. come yeah, around. maybe my parents. And that's usually what happens. Your emotional side kicks in and you're like, you know what? They're my family. They love me. They would have come around. It's okay. Let me go back. Because they really do lure you in with a, a um, like, almost like a fake sense of acceptance or like, mm. we'll, we'll sort this out. And a, and a lot of girls fall trapped to it, fall into this trap because you were already in such a heightened state of being emotional and like trying to make this decision. So any any chance to make things right with your family, you would naturally want to take it. It's just so sad that what's waiting for them on the other side, I, I, I've, I honestly can't even call them family. Like they cease to be family when they have this mentality. Like what, you, you're damaged goods because you've chosen someone else or you're damaged goods because you've been raped? at five years old and it's that same concept of in islam you've got to put allah and muhammad before anyone before your parents even before your family when honor and religion take over so blindly how any parent i don't think parents who treat their kids this way should even be parents in the first place it's it honestly reminds me like i don't think when i think of abraham's story when he was about to sacrifice his son for God. I don't see that as like this guy who has all this faith in God. I see that as a deranged father. The, um, just going to share. So obviously we shared this hadith earlier. Where, where does this behavior come from? It's because Islam enables that. We, we, we discussed this hadith earlier. Surah Ibn Majah 1851. It says, I enjoin good treatment of women for they are prisoners with you and you have no right to treat them otherwise unless they commit clear indecency. So they might tell you this, I enjoin good treatment of women. Prophet Muhammad tell, said that treat your women nicely, but they don't tell you this part unless they commit clear indecency. And this is what she did. That constitutes she, indecency, yeah. That constitutes indecency. It warrants death in their eyes. 
Yes, fair enough. Muhammad didn't say that, but it leads to that. You know, not everything goes that. Actually, uh, the punishment for fornication is 80 or 100 lashes. I always forget because in one case it's 100, the other one is 80. I thought it was 100, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's 100 lashes. And then I think those who accuse chast women is 80 lashes. <laughs> it's one or the other. Um, and the... Uh, and and, and in, in, if she was married, then it's stoning to death. So, of course, the, these barbaric punishments don't exist in these countries, so they take matters into their own hands. Where does this come from? This is where it comes from. There's so many of these hadiths. Don't leave your houses. Uh, so, Ibn Umar reported the Messenger of Allah saying, do not prevent your women from visiting the mosque, but their houses are better for them. They're encouraged to stay at home. This, is, this constitutes as indecency. Some people, if a man by playing a trick presents two false witnesses before the judge to testify that he has married a matron with their consent and the judge confirms his marriage and the husband is sure that he has never married her before, then such a marriage will be considered as a legal one and he may live with her as a husband. Sahih Bukhari 6,970. What that means is that if, if a man somehow produces false witnesses and says that, uh, oh, I married this woman. And she's like saying, no, 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 I didn't marry him. But he produces false witnesses. That's it. You're done. You have no voice. Nuria, you would have what? to be. You're going to get raped. You're going to get raped by your, by your kidnapper for the rest of your life. And Muhammad said, it's okay. So like, this is like the equivalent of like an April Fool's prank when it's like, oh, remember we got married in Vegas, but like I'll bring two witnesses to prove it. And that could potentially be your freaking rapist. And that constitutes as a legal valid marriage in Islam. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it is. It's, it's, uh, um, it, it's just... Um... And then, then, and, and then Horace, even that, that that other hadith, right, where it says a woman shouldn't even talk in a soft voice and all of that. Like yeah, that's a Quranic is, verse. It's a Quranic that's, verse. That's, that's a Quranic Quran. verse. Yeah. You you shouldn't even talk in in a in a voice Polite that, because manner, even yeah. your voice can arouse a man. Yeah, 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 so yeah. in any way you look at it, whether a five year old is just walking down the street and she's being a five year old, she can still be seen to be causing the fitna. Or sorry, yeah. what, what's that in Arabic? The the, the, the in english sorry yeah. which one the fit now what the, yeah yeah, she's, she's, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah the anarchy i don't know yeah not yeah. anarchy but it's like yeah it's sort of like that like, like she she was causing unrest no she, yeah. She yeah, yeah by she her spreading... presence by her yeah. by her young presence just because she's a woman with a hymen yeah so we've covered this and i think there's another video coming out uh, i think it's being released tomorrow tomorrow can a woman arrange for her own marriage no, you can't. This is why it goes against the, their honor, because a man is supposed to do it. There's no marriage except with a guardian, according to the Hadith, Aisha said. And the ruler is the guardian of the one who does not have a guardian. So if you don't have a guardian, Nuria, if you're orphan or whatever, then your ruler would be your guardian. But you can't set your own um, you know, you can't find a groom for yourself. No, it's all about the wali, which is the guardian in Arabic, which is either my dad, my brother, my grandfather, my uncle, anybody besides And it has me. to be a man. It and can't it be even be, be your man. mother. Exactly. So named Tamaja, 1882, the Messenger of Allah said no. I was just going to no. say, the one who arranges it, she's an adulteress, remember, nice. <laughs> yeah, so the no, no woman should arrange the marriage of another woman, and no woman should arrange her own marriage. There you go, the adulteress is the one who arranges her own marriage. <laughs> adulteress. So, so this girl is an adulteress, basically. Or, yeah. or, or these, girl, the, the, these girls who ran away, not obviously the five-year-old child. That's a, the that's one just who wanted to marry part. somebody of her own choice, yeah. Yeah, the other two, the one who refused. Uh, Omar being a hypocrite, he did it himself, though. Um, every eye commits adultery. Anyway, so that's a different perfume one. So yeah, this is another state where women are being demeaned. Every eye commits adultery, and when the women use, when perfume, the woman, you're when a woman uses perfume and she passes by a gathering, then she's like this and that, meaning an adulteress. So, um, so you can't even use perfume. So how are you? So how? We, I'm an adulteress what? right now, according to Islam. Oh, I smell you? hella good. Yeah. What are you wearing? Uh, right now I'm wearing, uh, it's uh, Ralph Lauren, the, the woman's perfume. I love it. Mm. Causing mischief anyway. in the land. That's it. Mm. Beej is better mischief. than us. Mischief. There we mischief. go. Thank you, Beej. Uh, yeah. If you like these videos and want to support me in my activism, then you can support me on Patreon or PayPal. Stay free, everyone.